Howdy, my friends, and welcome to the channel today. I'm Luke, Thunderhead289, here on YouTube. Now, today we're going to do something really dumb, and who knows, this might end up being my last video, because, you know, I don't know, this is pretty dangerous and stupid, but we're going to do it anyway, and just see what happens. So I just moved, and when you move, you know, you have a good chance to go through things, figure out what you need and don't need. And generally, if I don't use something for two years, you know, I probably don't need it around very much anymore. And, uh, you know, if you haven't used something for two years, you probably don't even remember you have it anyway. So one of those things was this rear differential. Now, this is from my Fox Body days. It's a 7.5 uh, three-flat rear gear, but it is a posi traction unit, and I have no use for it. So I thought... Well, I got a bunch of other junk that I'll probably never use. I wonder what we can make. So one of the things I've always wanted to do is use a rear differential and turn it into a brush hog. So super dangerous, uh, but we're gonna try and just slap this together with whatever random odds and ends I have on the shelf right over here and see what happens. Probably gonna dig into the ground, probably gonna fly off and you know hit me in the back of the head. That'll be it. So. Uh, we'll just see. Let's get started. Well, this is All right, what do we need from the hall of junk? Things that you save because, you know, they might be useful, even though they're really not. Maybe some of that, some of this stuff over here, and uh, maybe that jack handle. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. All right, so we got the blade all mounted, blade, and I've already actually messed something up on this that if I would have taken like three seconds and maybe looked at how a normal lawnmower works, uh, I think I wouldn't have done this. If, anyway, we're just gonna keep going and see how it goes, but I have a feeling I'll have to fix it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it. All right, so I basically have to prevent the center section from rotating, uh, as you see here. If you try and roll the thing, it's going to cut into the ground, obviously. But if we keep this in alignment, then when the wheels turn, the blade is going to spin. So luckily, when I cut this out of the car before it went to the salvage yard, uh, I left these on here. And I think I can flip them over and then utilize them as a, my straight piece. And then I can catch the old shock mounts for a stabilization piece. So we kind of will have two pieces coming in. These coming straight, all going to a mounting point for a lawnmower or, I don't know, a tractor or a car. Who knows?
Oh boy, before I faint here, I just want to point out that, you know, probably not a good idea to weld galvanized in a non-well ventilated area like this because uh, pretty much seeing sounds and smelling seas, sights, it's not good. So I'm going to try and get this done before I faint. Quick tech tip about welding if you want to be better. Um, generally your welds hold better if you don't suck at welding. So uh, not to mention huffing galvanized, which I'm pretty sure is a ow, good grief, is a <laughs> neurotoxin. Well, the blade works, that came around, whacked me in the side of the arm pretty good. But anyway, let's look at how bad these welds are. Son of a gun. I mean the welder isn't good, but I'm not too good either. So my dad he was a tool and die and welder and everything for his whole life so i'm sure he just cringes when he sees me do stuff like this so i mean obviously not the best i drilled and tapped these just for fixturing i'll probably drill these out and put some big old bolts through it um, just for extra support maybe do something here maybe not i don't know the geometry kind of hurts my brain but it's just kind of how it worked out, utilizing all the mounts that were already on the differential. All right, so here she is, done, done in big quotes. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I had already made a mistake, and you can see that the, what I used for a blade, you know, one side's kind of a cutting edge and the other side isn't, but I got kind of a plan for that, so I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal <laughs> if this thing even works. What a monstrosity, there's numerous things in here where it's all pretty square. So, you know, I tried on some things and other things, I just kind of threw it together because, I mean, look at it. Why would you try super hard on this? So anyway, with that, let's get this thing outside and hook it up to the tractor and see what happens. Alright, so we're all hooked up here. It's an absolutely terrible idea. Obviously, I need to get some bigger junk tires on this thing because the Mustang wheels, the blade's really close to the ground. So, it's probably going to dig in, like immediately. And not that it matters because the ground speed is going to be totally wrong. You know, this is a three-flat rear end. Uh, so anyway, but there she is. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a helmet on, I think. Okay, well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. 
because it follows the back end of the tractor, you know. I think this helmet's for a child. It definitely does not fit my face. And I got a small head. One interesting thing I didn't plan on is I did dig this into the ground for a moment, but what it did is being a posi traction, I guess, it just kind of locked up one of the wheels and the drug and came out of it, and it seems to be pretty okay. So with that, let's see what happens with the lawn. I'm just gonna have to do it live because this helmet's squeezing my head and I don't want to end up like a cone head. I might end up with half a head, but you know, neither of these scenarios are really that good. All right, let's just start out slow. So it's not really fast enough to do anything. Let's just go for it, try a second. I hate to even admit it, but I kind of like it because it's so ridiculous. It works way better than I thought it would. It doesn't even have a cutting edge on it, really. You know, one side is like just hitting with the flat end of something, and it's still cutting a pretty good amount of grass, as you can see. So you have to move pretty fast. So, you know, that's like fairly sketchy, but uh, I think with a cutting edge and some tires, uh, this thing could be pretty dangerous. Uh, metaphorically, like f physically and in actuality, it's pretty dangerous the way it is. All right, we got a pretty good storm rolling in, so I think that concludes our testing today. Some final thoughts I have here for some slight improvements, and then we'll roll out. So back to the wall of scrap junk here. I kind of thought these could be pretty handy. Uh, it's just some flat iron. You could sharpen an edge onto that, mount that on the side of our propeller or our blade here and then we'd have a nice sharp cutting edge that we could technically replace because obviously you'd use this so much you'd have to replace a blade you know clearly but uh that and some bigger tires for some ground clearance since it's pretty sub ideal at best at the moment and i think that'll be it and we'll take another test so as far as proof of concept uh it worked pretty good well my friends thanks for coming along with me today with this random project on a stormy Iowa spring day here. Sounds like our building's about to blow away. Um, but anyway, I guess I might look around for like a Ranger rear end. This is a 7.5 rear end. The Ranger had that and a lot of Rangers had 373 gears where this is a three flat. So that would make a pretty big difference. Never heard someone say they need to swap gears in their redneck brush hog, but I guess there's a first for everything. See you guys next time. Thanks.